Now, last week we brought you an interview with Father Brian Darcy on the issue of the referendum around the Eighth Amendment. Tonight, it's the turn of journalist, civil rights campaigner and feminist activist, Nell McCafferty. I think we're a cruel country. I am particularly aware of it now, with the, some of the discussion surrounding the suggestion that we repeal the Eighth Amendment and legalise abortion. I don't talk about abortion without putting it in a context of contraception, safe sex, social housing. Who would be a young mother in Ireland today? There is no room at the end. And what do we offer to young pregnant women who have nowhere to live? Abortion. It's cruel, it's crass, and it's stupid. And I've been paying close attention to what all the TDs, female as well as male, were saying in the doyle. None of them stated the obvious. We could reduce the rate of crisis pregnancies and dramatically reduce the rate of abortions needed if people use contraception. And I hope that when Leo Varadkar, the Taoiseach, stands up in the door to give his views on repealing the eighth, which he says he wants to do, and him being a doctor, I hope he gives the context for abortion, contraception, rim at the end, then we talk about abortion. I changed my language and my attitude to abortion in 1983, when we were at the height of that horrendous civil war called Campaign to Amend the Constitution to outlaw abortion. And as ever, I had a discussion about these matters with my mother. And she was worried about the implications of abortion. Is it killing? And I said, Mommy, it's a bunch of cells, a collection of fertilized eggs. You're not killing a baby. And she said, Come out here to the scullery. And I got up. This was in Derry, and we went out to the scullery. And she leaned in the kitchen sink and said, you see that floor there at your feet? I said, yes. She said, I put a piece of paper on that floor and miscarried on to it when I was four months pregnant. I said, don't you tell me it wasn't a baby. I was pregnant with a baby and I miscarried. And the doctor, when he arrived and with her permission, he took the miscarriage away to donate it to a teaching hospital in Edinburgh. And I said to me, Mommy, oh, so I've got a brother or sister in Edinburgh. And she looked at me with contempt and she said, Nell, grow up. And ever since that day, I've changed my language on abortion. We are people, free safe people, we are people. I've seen some of the repealers at campaigning, mostly young. I've seen the placards they carry, which, if you will forgive me, say, fuck this, fuck that. And I go up to them and say, you're not going to persuade anyone by using that language, and I have been told to fuck off. I think, well, if you're not going to talk about the totality of the woman's experience in pregnancy, and I will talk about, if a woman's left on her own, so cruel as we do, I will say that it's a woman's right to choose and I will take the woman's word. I'm not going to put her through the ringer. I will never lightly say to any woman, whose baby has been diagnosed as in the whim as disabled. I'm not talking about fatal fetal abnormality if she says, look, my baby is disabled. I 
I'm not going to tell her. I will check, let her decide. Because I'm at an age where I'm approaching. Disability and such. And I won't see the pro-birthers looking after the likes of me. They wash their hands off the likes of me once I come out of the womb. <laughs> and I say that with respect. <laughs> and savagery, what about me? It's all about me these days. Bless me the fruit of thy womb. I love that bread. Nell McCafferty there with her personal views about abortion and...